So I finally got access back to my own Facebook account after being locked out for almost two weeks. In this video, I wanna show you how you can make sure that this never happens to you. A few weeks ago, I was doing a routine identity check with Facebook and it just logged me out of all devices. Facebook then continued to ask me for a security code from their code generator, which only works if you're signed into your account from another device. If you don't know this already, Facebook support is essentially non-existent. There's no phone number to call, no email address, and there's no way to just submit a support ticket. After a few hours of digging, I finally found some helpful ideas buried deep inside the comments of an obscure blog post. I was then able to actually start the process of getting access to my account again. And two weeks later, after many back and forth emails with Facebook, I am finally able to access my account. So let me share three things with you that you can do today that will make sure that this never happens to you. I've got some details later in this video if you are already totally locked out of your account. First thing you should do is enable SMS and text support for your account. The way to do this is to go over to your profile on your desktop Click into security and privacy, click on settings, and then click security and login. Next, you'll scroll down and go to set up two-factor authentication right here and click edit. If you're seeing this message, you already have SMS support enabled. But let's go ahead and enter the code that is sent to your phone. So here you'll see that I have two-factor authentication set up. If you scroll down, you'll see various security methods that you can enable. I highly recommend that you set up uh, a current and active uh, phone number for this text message here. You can always click use different phone number if you ever change your number. While you're on the screen, go ahead and grab your recovery codes. If you don't see this, there will be a setup button here that will allow you to set this up and then download a list of recovery codes. This can be really helpful if for whatever reason you're not getting the text messages, you're not able to use your authentication app, and you just need a way to get back in. You can use one of these recovery codes and get right back into your account. Okay, the second thing you can do is set up two-factor authentication. If you jump back into this page, you'll see that there's an option to add a backup method here where you can set an authentication app. We're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna click Setup. On the next screen, you'll see a QR code that you can use to set up your authentication app. If you don't already have one, definitely recommend either using something like Google Authenticator or using 1Password. An app like 1Password or LastPass can actually act as your authentication app right inside the browser. I personally use 1Password for myself, for family, and even for our business. And so if you wanna check that out, I'll drop a link in the description. Now you should see under security method that the authentication app is now listed there. If you ever wanna try a different authentication app, you can go over to manage and click add new app. Third and final thing I recommend is to use a complex password that can't easily be hacked. Now you may be wondering, is my password secure enough? Well, there's a link that I'll drop in the description to a tool that will tell you just that. Once you're on the site, you can go ahead and enter a password that you use. So if I entered the word password, you'll see that the password will be cracked instantly. If I use a more complex password, like my uh, current one, Well, this is only gonna be hacked in 200 million years. So it would take a computer 200 million years to crack that password. Enter a few of your passwords and see which of those is the most secure. If you're using something like 1Password or LastPass, there's gonna be a password generator feature in there that will create super complex passwords that'll be really hard to hack. So a quick note, if you are locked out and you cannot get access to your account and you can't enable any of these features, there is gonna be an email address that I will link to in the description that will allow you to email Facebook and all you have to do is continue to ask for access to your data. That is the key word. I read about this inside one of the comments in a blog post and it seems to do the trick. You just keep asking for access to your data. You may have to verify your identity, share an ID, uh, maybe answer some questions, but this is what ultimately worked in the end and got me access back into my account. So a quick recap. First, enable SMS support. Second, enable two-factor authentication. 
And third, make sure that you use a secure password that can't easily be hacked. If you got value from this tutorial, please hit that like button and subscribe for more free training just like this. As always, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. We'll see you on the next one.